What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to pick off up on last time, uh, the Russians are beginning to move in, so we must respond in kind and engage. So with this force under Balthasar Minicello, Minicello, we are pushing east to hit these two Russian stacks that have pushed through this gap here. So the hope is we can hit them and then drive them back through the gap. It will. This will be a bit of a slog, um, but the first force doesn't have that many troops intact. The second reinforcing army has a bit more strength to it, but yeah, should be pretty good. All right, let's kick off, because you've also got a pretty good amount of reinforcements behind. Although I'd rather not have to use my reinforcements, because I would like them to be in a good position to push up, um, if possible, although they could well be out of... Uh, they could well be out of... out of movement points. So there's no guarantees that they will be able to push up this turn. But yeah, let's begin to uh, knock out some pesky Russians. So, let's get... Okay. Let's just get ready to do... to shell the bejeers out of them. With our lovely, lovely... shrapnel shots. There we go. Let's pick up some troops. No, let's get ready for the game to completely screw me over on uh, the reinforcements coming in. There we go. Hey, have I missed a unit of infantry? I have. Let's bulk up the left flank. General in the center. Artillery switch to round shot. Try to get my howitzers to hit. There we go. I want my, my, my artillery, my howitzers to hit the. Ooh, nuts. Okay. So they're doing counter battery on me. The regiment of this regiment of horse is nailing it in towards us. Get all my artillery to focus fire that unit of howitzers there. Bring up my regiment of horse in case it's needed. I think we might have upset the howitz upset the howitzers there. Okay, let's bring them up. Now nah, the square's held there. That's going to see off this regiment of horse pretty well. There we go. Dropping in lots of artillery. It does mean we might end up having to push. You guys should trap a shot and hit that unit of household cavalry. You man. Okay, I am probably going to push now. Get your volley off and then drop into square. You guys switch to round shot. Begin you continue to engage the artillery. I'll push up that flank, but this is going to be a bit untenable for a while. Howitzers begin to hit. Howitzers focus fire their infantry, the remaining, well, the infantry they've actually got. go in and charge the... no, you guys get back into firing, get back into formation there, the line infantry get back into square. You guys get to firing a shot there, those line infantry are going to get cut to ribbons, 
you men are firing round shot at. The mortar battery. You men charge up and hit the howitzers on the flank. There we go, we've hit. Knock back those blunderbuss chaps. Let's push up these men here. Okay, I think it should be possible to hit something else, because my cavalry's near the mortars, which my heavy cavalry will probably be able to take them out. Okay, just run in. Just run through. Through this house of cavalry, through the general's bodyguard. Fortunately, the reinforcement's coming in right from the rear. Good, and my men are going the direction I want them to go, around this house. We could charge these howitzers actually towards the back and work our way through all these units. My heavy cavalry are survivable enough. They will hold. Okay, so get these 12 pounders working on supporting my troops. So yeah, you guys there we go. Don't worry about making them rout. Don't worry about breaking them, rather. Just keep pushing on. Make sure this artillery is not hitting my men there. Begin to engage the guys coming into the rear in a round, round shot. And charge the last of the mortars. Make sure those guys are shattered so they don't come back. Okay, then just run away. Well, let's leg it back to my other heavy cavalry. So then they can s turn around, surround and destroy the pursuing cavalry. And we also may be able to get some good shots off on them from our infantry if you run in this direction. Okay, so you guys line up ready to counter charge. Actually, you guys need to get back out of the way of the cavalry. There we go. The horse guards have been a good counter charge. Okay, you guys fire at will. Ah, uh, sorry, un not fire at will. Who are you guys? You might actually fire at will. No. Now fire it well off. Fight the general's bodyguard. We start to open up against the guerrilla mercenaries. There we go. The dat will kill the general. Now you meant fire it well and get ready to engage. Whomever you desire. Fortunately, it is the light cavalry sharpshooters. Let's get these guns to start to shoot at them. The guys up on the hill back here. Try shrapnel shot the general's bodyguard. My cavalry's seen off the enemy on the right flank. Mercenaries. Okay, so is this the last of the. Nope. That's what I say. Is this the last of the reinforcements? It is not. Okay, let's let my Marines fire a volley into the General's bodyguard before we counter charge. Okay, let's pick 
a new target for them. You guys as well. You guys actually need to pick a new target. Should probably win against these uh, General's Bodyguards. Because they've been softened up. Let's see if we can kill their General. He's not caught back here in this cloud, so... No, he's going to make it. The line's only about back here. Okay, let's pivot our line because those fusiliers are quite strong. Pick up our howitzers and begin to engage. Get my heavy cavalry to charge the light cavalry sharpshooters. You guys can hit there. Actually, you switch to canister shot and hit the cuirassier. And they go they want to go after my they want to go after my cavalry we're gonna chop those sharpshooters to pieces General oh well that's not the general model he died but we didn't get a you know they've died symbol marines 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 so you dumped into square and you're going to see off the QSC air where's my cavalry let's run around this combat and go hit the fusiliers I'm not using them to counter charge. Good. The quick limes come in, so now I can counter charge quickly and get some hits in. I heard another cow 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 quick climb shot go in. Okay, let's run my cavalry back out of there because it looks like the cuirassiers are about to die. There they go. Pivot these units to go and engage them. It's another unit of cavalry but it's a light cavalry unit and they just took a, a volley at point blank range. They're not going to stick around for very long. So right at the back here, infantry guards, European mercenaries, artillery, artillery, blunderbuss shotgunners. Let's pick new targets for some of our, well there's no quick climb targets really nearby. Or let's just let them just halt and let them reload. Now my cavalry can do can make quick work of the fusiliers. Good, okay, so let's now we've got some breathing space. reduce our line somewhat. Or, to be honest, this component of the line that's still that's actually quite strong can push up. And let's get our howitzers to fire round shot so they can take advantage of their we can take advantage of some of their range. Push up the heavy cavalry. These men are slightly less useful. Let's push up to intercept. Or at the very least to challenge these remaining Russian troops. Because we outnumber them significantly. 
So I'm going to stay here so my men can make sure they're all loaded. We just about make them out through the trees. The 13th Foot Guards. Let's stay here and let my men uh, reload. There we go. So now the musketry from my spectacular Italian troops is more than enough to whip through their formation. Focus firing. Okay, let's get my heavy cavalry on the move, because what have they got back there? Hussars. We can probably we can deal with Hussars. These light troops are just going to be a bit of an annoyance. Actually, they might be pretty darn effective. Let's actually send those guys in to intercept them. Okay, the line infantry guards have been pushed back. Now it's the mercenaries and a regular footline unit. Guard heavy cavalry is awesome. And they've already... They're intercepting the cavalry that's charged the light infantry. They're not going to intercept my cavalry that's going after the guns. So blunder by shotgunners, because they can be a bit... Spicy. There we go. Let's kill that gun crew. I'll go after this 32-pounder heavy horse howitzer. My guard cavalry here, just hold out and uh, take up time. This infantry push up on the flank. Yep, cavalry broke. But not before I chew up and destroy all of your howitzers. It's got a little cauldron going here. Yeah, the 61st won't stand for long. They're only 85, 83 men strong. And they've been pushed back. Heavy cavalry can go engage the light infantry. Because their their hussars have abandoned the light infantry. Where's my regiment of horse? Let's get you involved. Whoa, mine the spikes. Let's get my general involved over here as well. Kill the light infantry, but don't go through the spikes. Might lose a couple of them to spikes. One of them. But just run around. Like so. <laughs> so I was left. Abandoned one. Abandoned one. Uh... Actually, you hit that heavy horse out, so they are, they are alone and exposed there. Then it's the rest of my troops against these remaining. Ah, line infantry they started wavering and came back. Yeah, you knock out that gun crew, then you go knock out the line infantry. You go after. The line infantry guards. New men run into the line in the enemy enemy infantry. Ah. And you 
cavalry's come back. Oh no, spikes. We've still got militia coming in. Let's have everyone push up to just charge the militia. Aren't oh, they broken? You guys go after the European mercenaries because the generals after the blunderbuss shotgunners. You're after the line infantry guards. Damn right, we're going to continue. Although I'm going to watch my general in case he does something dumb. Another cavalry unit, but I don't know how useful they're going to be. infantry guards destroyed go chase after that foot line unit the general's finished his finished his job okay so it's just going to be this cavalry unit chasing down this line infantry unit and they're not going to kill them but they are going to do some damage to them make, that's, make no mistake they're going to harry and harass no, they got about 40 of them before they left the field. And it says close victory. I don't think that was close. We punted them away pretty nicely. Yeah, they lost, we lost 1,000 men. They lost 4,000 men. Back you go. Now you guys can replenish. But what I want is for you, like these units, to push up and fill the... Fill the space. Non possiamo. Because you you can't push out here. We do need <clears throat> we do really need to knock out some of these chaps. Although it'll probably be Prussia first. So let's get you over here. So when I declare war, this guy's got a straight run into the fort. So it'll probably have to be these guys that do it. Prague, your armies. Well, your garrison is replenishing. Saxony, we can just about handle you, but we're recruiting troops to fix it. Although I could probably just take... Some of these guys across. No, it didn't help. Okay, just let the men recruit. Just let the... <clears throat> just let the uh, troops that I'm recruiting do the job. So the men at Stockholm are replenishing. You're pushing south to come and attack. These chaps... We've got a force up here. Actually, I might just... Servo boss. Ah, not in range. If we can start to attack them. These chaps are replenishing because there's actually a couple of Swedish stacks over here, which we can't deal with. We're still pushing on Gdansk. I might actually march you up to the front. Rather than do anything too sneaky with these guys. Well, these guys I will do something sneaky. I'll probably land and... Well, probably land around St. Petersburg. Or do I even sell them around and hit Archangels and start to pick away at the rear of the Russian position and force them to spread out? That's probably a good idea. Moldavia's secured. This army's moving up, ready to intercept and prevent this force from coming south. And if I have two armies here, one of them might push up to go hit Kiev. You're pushing up to hit the Wow to put them off, to knock them off balance. Although everywhere else, I think I'm going to stick to what I'm doing. I want to see if I can lure the Swedes into a, a battle where I can just defend and shell the bejesus bege bege out of them. <clears throat> That's my plan there. My spy is going to continue moving. In terms of tech, we're getting close to the end. Okay, let's hit end turn. So let's see how many Russian troops are pushing in behind their initial attack. Yeah, my attack down towards Egypt is a bit of a bust because they, they are re, uh, they're sending troops down pretty quickly.
But really, the Russians are my first priority. Because they are building a lot of... They're pushing down a lot of troops. I think I might sell around and hit Archangels because I think we need to open up more fronts against Russia because right now they're very strong in on the continent but in reality I need to uh, spread their men out the same way as attacking the Mughal Empire you need to spread your men out Are you guys going to go off to Norway? They're probably going to end up going for Norway if they did, in a way, <clears throat> in a way that would actually be helpful because they'd end up dumping their troops inside a fort and then uh, let, letting me bottle them up. Yeah, more troops coming in. Yeah, they're going to raid their way around. Is Sweden going to sally and fight me? So attacking St. Petersburg now would be a bad idea. They might not get a garrison, but they will get a bucket load of Swedish allies that will spawn at the same time, which is not good at all. Not good at all. Raid Gothenburg. Yeah, raid right away. Um, I'm just happy you're not going to go get Norway. So these men can go hit yeah, Valentin Rogachova because they are they are just leftovers. So these guys to replenish again. You men march around like so. Um, if this army is moving south, then instead I'm going to take this army and try and knock out that lone rebel force, and they might end up pushing south and hitting Petrovskaya. Making this decision a bit clearer. Because then if I'm going to hit Petrovskaya, I've then got a couple of forces back here to threaten the rear of the Russian position. But what I would like, who I would like to go with them, I would like to get a priest. So you've got a church school. I would want this Catholic min missionary to go with them. So I can immediately start uh, converting the population behind the lines. So these men, well, this force is at good strength, can push up, not within interception range. Men are replenishing, you guys can replenish. These guys are probably going to come over here. Well, actually, that's a silly decision. You men can push on. Because we've got the Cologne garrison, which will, sooner or later, allow me to go. Minus seven. Becomes minus three. Alright, pick up some more Dragoons. We've got a this army in... Edinburgh is nearly done. Okay, one more turn till they're done. Then that means to be honest, I'll probably dump two two armies back up here, and that will really shit them up. Actually, they've lost to their uh, Swedish allies by the looks of it. Send a third rate to patrol, or is it fog of war that's hiding them? Huh. No. Ooh, hello. What's this? So because these ships don't have a... I could, to be honest, I could split this force in half. Although that's a pretty... Okay, let's take you guys to go block up the naval hospital because you've got troops and ships in the same berth. You can sail up and block in those ships there. 
Okay, let's get some fourths, let's get some thirds, let's get some seconds. There, we'll have two armies ready to sail around here to attack Archangelsk. We'll have this force that will hopefully be in a position to take Petrovskaya. But then we've got this force here that, because they've left it, demand the surrender of St. Petersburg. So we've taken the city without a fight, but we have sacked it by the looks of things. <laughs> but we've taken the city without a shot being fired. Okay, let's knock down this pleasure gardens and replace it with a church school to start to convert the population. Let's check our buildings. Container. Uh, yes, you're part of the force ready to go in. Ready to go in and hit uh, Cagliari. Start to get some another cheaper army, especially if they're going to be fodder. If they're going to take Cagliari, then they're probably going to go into fight against the Ottomans somewhere. Let's advance these armies up, but let's not go so far as attacking anyone yet. I mean, we could. Make sure we are blockading their ports. So these guys actually, they have to keep a big, quite a big garrison there because it looks like the clamour for reform is getting pretty high. The religious unrest is going to keep creeping up. Okay, workers on strike. Workers riot at Hanover. Right, okay, you need, you need uh, troops to garrison you then. Copenhagen's pretty stable for us, isn't it? Yeah. Get these guys down to Hanover. There we go. It's a pretty good idea. Let's just do a quick infrastructure check to make sure that our... As we push forward, we're not being hampered by low-quality roads. I mean, you are on... For getting took for, hit, for hitting Warsaw, really. Aha, is that where these armies have gone? They've pushed down here. No, they wouldn't have got there that quickly. So if I were to attack them. Oof. A large battle. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to be on the on the defensive for that one. With so many <laughs> fighting against so many men. I'm happy to get Petrovskaya. Mm, I suppose, though, to maximise... To maximise everything we do in any given turn, I suppose what I want to do is take Ernesto Defendi, set him to go and attack this force here at Alexandria. Otherwise, we'd go this turn, this turn in game without a fight. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian States. Cheers, everyone.